our guest this evening. Elle Kennedy is a very busy lady. I'm sure some of you have read some of Elle Kennedy's books, but I don't know if you know that recently she won the Saltire Award and the Costa Book Award. So without further ado, I'll pass you over to Elle Kennedy. This is a, a talk about writing. Um, it's, it's in a light-hearted way, which always guarantees it won't be, but um, it's not that I take writing light-heartedly. I'm very serious about writing. The thing is that if you're a writer, you get taken very seriously as a person, which tends to... It brings me out in a rash, anyway. Um, so it's kind of an antidote to that. I, um, I never actually made a conscious decision to become a writer. This was unemployable. Uh, the book that won the Costa was uh, this thing called Day, which is um, a f fictional book, but it's 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 set in, in, in during really between 1939 and 1949. Um, mainly about this guy called Alf Alfie Day, who's a tail gunner in a Lancaster bomber, and after the war, doesn't really know what to do with himself. Uh, probably, we would say now he has post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, he ends up being an extra in a movie, um, playing a POW in a sort of fake prison camp, and that kind of makes him look back on his life. What I was interested in was, was, was finding out why somebody would go back and, and uh, you know, go to a place where it was possibly one of the worst places they'd been in their lives and just go back and sort of reenact it as, as fiction. So the book partly kind of answers that question for one particular person. I, I like it if people surprise me. And I like it if people have put their own spin on. That's what people do. They, they, um, any narrative has gaps in it, and people put the thing that satisfies them most in the gaps. It's interesting to see what gaps they had and how they filled them. The reader is the reader, and, and they can make of the story whatever they want. That's the whole point. You know, the, the main character looks the way he looks in my head, will not look the same in anybody else's head. No, does anybody write themselves here tonight? You don't have to say. We'll get to why you shouldn't say, in fact, in a bit. Um, <laughs> OK, I, there's, there's an <coughs> amount of wriggling and guilt that leads me to believe that there are writers in the room. Um, <laughs> Obviously, being a writer, quite quite a few people come up and they say, you know, that they want to be a writer or they have a book in them. I mean, I always say, kind of as a joke, I mean, you know, people have lots of things in them. You have your lung and your spleen and your brain in you. You're not going to pull that out and give it to strangers and expect them to stare at it. If you have a book in you, that's kind of the same rules apply. If you want to remove it, it may not be without pain. Uh, and they may not want to stare at your interior. Um, you have to make it worth their while. I tried to explain. I said, you know, if, if I think of the things that keep me awake at three in the morning, um, drinking, you know, far too much Red Bull until my shins are thrumming and the tendons are whacking off the bone, you know, like, 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 like the wire off a flagpole on a windy day, what makes that happen? What makes me eat too many biscuits and Pringles out of nervousness? Words! You know? I just do it. The only way, nobody can teach you to write. You will teach you to write by writing and if you make huge terrible mistakes it's great because you'll have huge terrible amounts of education uh, if you accidentally get it right it's awful because you may not know why and the thing that you realize is you know any kind of career you have you, you all realize this by now it doesn't really matter if you enjoy winning the cost prize the important thing is that your mother should enjoy <laughs> your winning the cost prize you know um your mom's pals should enjoy it. <laughs> It's quite a strange job. It's very, very... Pre it's basically playing with your imaginary pals. You know, I, tr I try and make it better. I try and make it a good working environment. You know, I, try, I try and do... Bring a friend to work days! You know, but obviously because I'm a, I'm a writer, it has to be bring an imaginary friend to work. So most of my imaginary friends didn't turn up. Um, which was depressing. The thing about words is they're the only thing where you take nothing and you make it into something. And you take nothing and you make it into energy. You know, you take little paper pulp sheets 
and chemical staining and you give it to other people and it makes them feel things. We all have the power to use words to reverse time or rehearse realities that we want or make ourselves into new people. We all have the story that we tell ourselves which is ourselves. We can change that story. It's been very nice being with you and uh, thank you.